Hey guys, it's Matt with uh, remove-malware.com. Um, I also kind of switched up my YouTube site um, this week. It's called Matt's World. <laughs> it's uh, got a little more than just my typical antivirus stuff. Um, just trying to make some more videos on everything. So, so this video tonight is going to be the um, Norton Internet Security Part 2 video, I guess. I'll see how it goes. Um, Really, it's just all about Norton Insight and how it can save you a ton of time whenever you uh, want to scan your computer or uh, when you're using the real-time scanner. So what Norton Insight does is it gathers a ton of data from all of the Norton users across the globe and classifies files as being safe or unsafe or unknown, you know, dangerous, um, and it looks at uh, looks at all those files and, and creates a reputation for each file. And depending on the file's reputation, um, the file will be scanned by Norton Internet Security's file-based scanner or not scanned. Um, you can also adjust the Insight Scanner to just trust digital uh, signatures, which is, I'd say, like 99% of the time, just fine. Sometimes a digital signature gets hacked and um, you have a problem there. But anyway, let me uh, go over it real quick. This should be a pretty short video here. When you first install Norton Internet Security 2012 or you know 2013, 2014, whatever, whatever it is. Uh, if you click reputation scan and you do a full system scan it's going to scan every program on this computer and all the files associated with it. Um, I also do a full system scan before I do this. I don't know if uh, that adds to the uh, Norton Insight or not. Like if it uh, takes a look at files that are not associated with programs. I haven't really got a clear answer from them yet. So it's going to go ahead and scan all the programs. Now the big question I had is just a regular Norton user was what happens if I have a program and all of a sudden that program changes? Uh, something gets added to it. Well Norton Reputation Scan takes a look at something called a hash value and this is like a fingerprint of a file. So each file has a hash value and that hash value is totally unique. When the file gets modified um, the hash value changes and Norton needs to rescan that file. So my next big question was well how does Norton know that the hash has changed? And I had to email Norton support because I couldn't find um, anybody really talking about that. Um, they said that there is a kernel mode driver that keeps track of all the files on your system instantly when a hash changes it rescans the file. It sounds hard to believe but that's the answer I got. So, that sums up that. If you didn't understand it, you might want to rewind. So, it's going to scan my entire system right now. And um, it's real fast. It scans nothing but programs here and all the, all the associated uh, files. And you can see that the file is trusted by many users. Um, and then there's a few other columns here. You've got resource usage and um, stability. These are new to 2012. So right now you can see I'm almost done with the scan and it's going to skip 97, 96.3% of the files on scans because those files are trusted. What's the point in uh, scanning them over and over and over again? It's kind of a waste of your CPU, it's just a waste of time. So we know these files are good we'll go ahead and add them to our you know good or safe list and and we don't have to scan those again so files that it's going to pay attention to in the future 3.73 percent now i don't know of a lot of antivirus packages that do this i'm sure there's a handful by now um, but um, it is a real nice way to kind of cut down on your resources on your uh, on for your computer um, just you know it just doesn't have to to scan as much um, and just a really great way of doing it. I love that um, the Norton Insight scans and the Reputation scans and 
just how it treats those. So let me go over a few other little pieces of Norton Insight. There's Norton Download Insight too. So let me give you, uh, well, I'll try to give you two examples. I know I can give you one. So for the Norton Insight, the good part of it, uh, if I just go to File Hippo, I use those guys a lot for downloading stuff, especially at work. Um, CCleaner is a big one. If I click CCleaner, sorry, oops, guy at work is texting me here. Uh, and I click download. And I hit save. That's how fast my internet speed is. Yeah, downloads in a split second. Um, Norton analyzes it, says it's safe and reliable. So that takes out a big question for a lot of like my customers, my home users. They want to know what they're downloading. A lot of times when I went to people's houses and I work on their computers, I'll tell you a little story here. The husband or the wife would always say, don't download anything. You, you know, just don't download anything. How do you know it's safe? Well, you know, Norton gathers data from millions and millions of users, literally, and they can tell whether a file is safe or unsafe. So that kind of takes that whole question out of the mix. So this file is safe and reliable. Now I'll try to get a file that's not safe and reliable. We'll go ahead and try to download a virus. And I'm going to look for a, an exe and this is a Zeus Trojan. We'll see if we can download it. Somebody will probably stop it, but we'll try. Yeah. So while I'm doing this, um, my YouTube channel, like I said, I'm putting up different videos. It's just going to be videos on everything I do um, in my life. Just for the heck of it. Because people cut to asking for that, so that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so it says um, this file is not safe and has been remo removed. View details. Uh, it's removed. Suspicious.cloud.5.d. It's insane. Like, it's just, how do people come up with those names anyway? So. That uh, is Norton Insight in a nutshell. It, um, the, the big part of it is not the download Insight, but really the Norton um, Reputation Scan, uh, which is basically Norton Insight. It just allows you to save your CPU cycles for something else instead of wasting them on scanning every single file. So I told you that'd be a short video. It is, and uh, I'm done. I need to go work on some other things. I'll uh, see you guys.